McMath did not look that certain. He had to slow down his steps to gather and ended up doing a good job. But for a second, oh, that's going the wrong way for the Revs. This could be a break. Bobby Wood taken down from behind. Drew Fisher, and it's tucked home by Cordova. Drew Fisher let play continue. He had the whistle to his mouth, was going to call a penalty, but then ended up seeing that it was a scoring chance. And, and it would have been a penalty because he was not playing the ball but Drew Fisher let the play continue because it was an advantage. There's a ball for Chang. Chang with the flick. Here's Cordova. Cordova, sharp angle again. He got this one. <laughs> Chang Cordova puts RSL on top. Very similar angle from where he just missed outside the post. And this time, off the side panel and in. And RSL. Many times. Was he just a little bit off, or a save, or a brilliant touch, a deflection? This time, Sergio Cordova, from that angle, just when you think he might have made the wrong this time. Starting to get that time for Pablo to start itching for Savarino. Here's a cross, Lopelson, top of the box, Cordova, touch once, touch twice. Sergio Cordova coming over on loan from Augsburg underneath the Blitzer umbrella. Was he fortunate? Yes. Did he end up finishing it? Yes. And for Sergio Cordova, after a exquisite, an exquisite goal on the road in Montreal against the momentum of Tim Parker. Chang leaving it for Brody. Brody towards the spot. Cordova! Sergio Cordova the header and RSL takes the lead. Justin Merrim flies Michael Chang. Watch this way to the pass for Brody. He gets on the end of it. And it's the angle in which Sergio Cordova takes. He gets to the inside of Volador. Isima Marine wants a foul from the AR to be flagged. Curling inside the left foot. That is a fantastic ball from a right foot for dominant player and Brody. And Sergio Cordova rises up well. And that diving header, he just gets enough on it to get it past Polskamp, who's just hung. He's at That's inside here, Andrew Brody. Edge of the air. Cordova. Oh, it's a sumptuous strike. Hit with venom. A quick response for RSL. And Sergio Cordova who struggled at times in front of goal, looking ruthless as ever. A day and a half to make his decision. Vela the closest to him, and Cordoba very similar to what Arango does, a two-touch play. Sets himself up, turnaround shot, good power, good location. Not a lot of vision for number 20 of RSL, but good enough to beat Crepa. And what a match we have on our hands. moments being absolutely key in midfield it was a case who's going to go who's not nobody went both players came forward enough knew who thought he had done enough to get back Steph makes the initial save but then unfortunately two players go on the line and nobody goes to track Cordoba after the save and so he's able to cut back in Ariaga over commits and then Cordoba has the composure to roll it into the side netting, but great save from Steph, stands up well, over commitment from Yamar. Both teams have tagged the frame here in the last five minutes. Lopelson, good ball, Cordova, around Veselinovic, yes, Cordova, three games in a row, he's got his seventh goal, and RSL has the lead just past the hour mark. Chang 
Paolo Ruiz, Jasper Loffelson, watch the weight of this pass. Oh, what a ball from Jasper. Goes back across Veselinovic, and he has Thomas Hassel 1v1. He's colder than a Canadian winter on this chop and finish. As Sergio Skordova once again opens up his account here at Rio Tinto Stadium. Sabarino. Sabarino sending the ball in. Popped up. Sergio retreats. Chests it down. Tries to find some space. And he scores! Sergio Cordova! And listen, because we're not in a straight line, it looks like it's very, very close. But guess what? Check complete. Goal confirmed. And Sergio Cordova picking up that hot dish at the back post. Benitez on the wrong side. Comes across Boxel. Nothing St. Clair can do about it. Skill check, size, strength, athleticism, and just canny ability to beat the goalkeeper after splitting two defenders. What a improvement. On to the right side it goes. This is good for the visitors. Watch out. Herrera in the area. Plays it across. They score. Cordova on the end of that one and the galaxy find themselves down one nothing in this match inside 26 minutes of play goal number nine of the year for cordova it allows this to happen where he can play this ball wide now the overlapping run comes the ball gets played in the space and at this point the galaxy defense is out of sorts and it's not any individual's issue here everyone's just trying to get back but they're coming so fast with so many numbers they can't get into the right position but the first part is it has to be pinned in Andrew Brody he's a viable contender for player of the year at Salt Lake and in it goes from Cordoba Andrew Brody with the first incursion and Sergio Cordoba with a graceful glancing header to give the underdogs a third minute lead Last week, Pablo Mastrani had to make a switch tactically. He went to four in the back, and it allowed Brody to push forward, but more so for Chain to come in. In a natural position? No, and where does the ball hit? All eyes on Victor Rivas. Penalty. It is the apparently reluctant striker, Sergio Cordova. Who goes for placement more than power. Back to that call on the penalty. But a player that they don't even think believes he wants to be a nine. He doesn't even want to be a nine. And yet what has he done?